The World Health Organization predicts that COPD will be the third leading cause of death worldwide um, by 2020. Ethysema really plays a pretty large role with COPD and this video uh, you're going to discover what it really is as well as some really neat ideas on preventing it. Now before I do get started uh, down below I'm giving away a free video based guide on using various supplements and alternative medicines to, to fight off various health problems. Now every cell in your body needs something to survive and that is oxygen. To get the oxygen, your body uses an organ called the lungs. Uh, think of like a, a big balloon that sucks up oxygen from the atmosphere and delivers the oxygen to all these organs and cells that need it through the bloodstream. Now then the waste product goes from the cells that don't need it into the bloodstream back to your lungs and you exhale it. Now the, the lungs has all these bronchial tubes um, that oxygen travels through. Then they enter these little tiny sacs that remind me of little small grapes called alveoli. Now ethysema really is an abnormal, abnormal enlargement of these sacs. Instead of becoming like grape structure, uh, think of them all turning into one giant grape. Now also some of the tubes that connect to the, the sacs can also be damaged as well. Now what this does is it make it uh, well more difficult for someone to breathe air out. You can't uh, exhale as good. To get an idea on what it would be like, uh, try inhaling just a huge breath of air. And then very, very slowly breathe it out really slowly. So as you can imagine, that's I mean, try and imagine trying to exercise with that. You know, maybe run, ride a bike. Um, even become intimate with somebody. As you can see, having this condition lead to shortness of breath. You, you can't excel the air, so you can't get more air in quickly to really, you know, that your that your body needs. Uh, definitely lead to greater fatigue and, and just becoming less physically fit. Now you might be asking this question. You you might be wondering this, and that is, if someone has this condition, you know, can it be cured? That's not the million dollar question, right? Well, the truth is that reversing like any type of damage in the human body isn't really easy and it's a much better to approach to prevent the problem in the first place and this kind of goes against the, this is like Western medicine in general about how the problem you know, we fixed it but there's not you know there's, to me it's just not as much focus on prevention and, and that's one of the reasons why I do make these videos now having said that the medical community feels that emphysema is a chronic progressive disease and that means it gets worse over time which is sort of a negative way of looking at it I, I tend to be a little more positive <laughs> positive so I, I think that uh, you, with the right ideas and and solutions you can definitely uh, not make the problem be worse over time my opinion now a person another idea is of course a person could get a, a lung transplant to you know, fix it but as you can imagine it's, it's not cheap and there are lots of risks involved now, to help you uh, get some ideas on how to prevent the problem in the first place, which is the ideal solution to it, can you guess what the number one culprit is? Yeah, smoking, smoking tobacco and cigarettes. And uh, in just looking at tobacco in general increases the chance of just a ton of health problems, just a whole bunch. And I'll admit, I've, uh, I've smoked uh, tobacco on a few occasions, and one thing that really helped me not smoke is looking at all the health problems <laughs> that they can develop from it. Like, well, the, here's the, the risk involved and here's the reward. It's not really worth it, in my opinion. Now, next up is really kind of breathing in crappy oxygen and air. This could, of course, be tobacco smoke. Um, also, in a lot of developing countries, something called biofuels can be a problem. Um, their idea, basically, is uh, cooking in poorly vented um, indoor areas. Plus, of course, pollution. There's another culprit. It's not very good bringing it in. And another uh, big culprit that may not even have crossed your mind uh, would be like a back, uh, virus or bacteria. And when you're sick and the germ invades your lungs, I mean, this isn't really good. It doesn't really, It's not the best thing for your health. Your body fights it off. So just preventing getting sick in the first place is, uh, well, you know, good hygiene, um, building up your immune system. There's, there's a lot of ways you can do that. Um, it's a great idea. And lastly, there's, there's a lot of things that someone can do to improve the health of their lungs. 
and uh, um, it's definitely going to help. And of course, a big one is exercise, right? And if you're having troubles getting exercise, I mean, it's tough sometimes to get motivated. Is you know, just uh, get yourself a really good podcast or audio book and, and go for a long walk and just listen to it. It's great entertainment. You get to see stuff. Get to see the world, and there you go. It's some that's some easy exercise. Um, other ideas, so there's a lot of herbal remedies out there that can be that can really do some great things, not just with your overall health, but with your lungs. To throw some couple of herbs out there that would be great for your lungs um, would be uh, ginseng, uh, something called lungwort, interesting name, and peppermint. And uh, to sum everything up, to make it simple, emphysema is when small sacs in the lungs get damaged, resulting in shortness of breath. To prevent this problem, don't smoke. Uh, don't breathe in crappy air, get exercise, and take herbs such as ginseng, lungwort, peppermint, and uh, also, yeah, try not to get sick. There you go. And if you're interested in more ideas on, on herbal remedies and alternative med medicine to, to fight off diseases, improve your health, like I talked about, I did create this whole video guide that goes, uh, you can simplify, you know, what to look for when you're shopping for supplements. I'll give you some ideas on, on herbal remedies. I, sim I simplified that in a way, as well as talk about some herbs and some ingredients and health products that you want to avoid and why. So that could definitely help some people out. Um, it's completely free. And if you want to learn more, just, just click on the link below this video. Um, I do really appreciate your time. Uh, please leave a comment. I really appreciate your thoughts and your comments. And I hope this video might help a few people. And if you, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. I really would appreciate that too. Uh, thank you so much. Bye.